let's start off with a rhombus party. Welcome to Movie Math and Science and the Properties of a Rhombus. A rhombus is a plain 2D figure that has straight lines. It is considered a quadrilateral, so it has four sides. Now, each of these sides is equal. Let's take a look at the angles. The angles of a rhombus are such. The opposite angles are congruent. Now, a rhombus has been described as a special parallelogram. Remember, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. Now, a rectangle, which is a parallelogram, has two pairs of parallel sides, but it has four congruent angles. A rhombus has four congruent sides, but only the opposite angles are equal. Not all four, but they can be. So if you combine the rectangle and the rhombus, you get a square. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. They also create four congruent interior right triangles. The diagonals cut each other in half. In other words, they bisect each other. However, they don't have to always be the same length. If you need to find the perimeter of a rhombus, you can take 4 times one side, or 4s. The formula for area. If you're giving the height, and remember the height is perpendicular, then you can use height times a side. If you're given the diagonals, you can use d1 times d2, meaning the diagonal 1 times the diagonal 2, divided by 2, or d1 times d2 d times 1 half. How many trapezoids do you see in this picture? Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and Trapezoids. I'll get to the answer to the original question in just a moment, but let's first define a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides and one pair of non-parallel sides. A trapezoid has four sides, which makes it a quadrilateral. A trapezoid only has one pair of parallel sides, so it is not considered a parallelogram. Let's take a look at this house. Do you see any trapezoids? Yes, the roof is. Is this geometric shape right here a trapezoid? No, because it does not have one pair of parallel sides. The base of a trapezoid is created by two parallel sides. Notice that the two bases are parallel. The non-parallel sides are called legs. The sum of the interior angles of a trapezoid equal 360 degrees. The angles on each side are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. A trapezoid is a closed figure, therefore it has four corners, which are called vertices. The median is a segment that connects the midpoint of two legs. The median is parallel to the bases and equals half the length of the two bases. Therefore, you can find the length of the median by adding the length of the two bases and divide by two. Let's take a look at two types of trapezoids. A right trapezoid has two right angles that are next to each other. This is called consecutive. An isosceles trapezoid has two equal legs, which results in the diagonals being equal. The base angles are congruent, or equal. You can find the area of a trapezoid by taking one-half base, one, plus base two, times the height. The height is not the side length, but a line that is perpendicular to the base. This is important. In order to find the perimeter, just add the length of the four sides. A plus B plus C plus D. Let's get back to the original question. The original picture has seven trapezoids. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. A kite has four sides. Therefore, it is a quadrilateral. 
One of the first things you may notice is that there are two pairs of different linked sides. A fancy word to describe this is that a kite has two disjoint pairs of a consecutive sides. Disjoint pairs means that one side can't be used in both pairs. The sides of each pair are congruent. Sides A and B are congruent, and sides C and D are congruent. The angles that are opposite each other and in between the two different linked sides are also congruent. And remember, congruent means equal. If you look at the diagonals, the longer diagonal cuts the shorter diagonal in half. The diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to one another, which results in the diagonal creating right angles. The longer diagonal is also an angle bisector to the top and bottom angles. The formula for finding the perimeter is side A plus B plus C plus D. And a formula for finding the area is you can take one half diagonal one times diagonal two. I hope that helps with the properties of a kite. In this video, I'd like to talk about the properties of a rectangle. A rectangle is part of the quadrilateral family, which means it is a plane shape with four sides. In addition, it has several other properties. A rectangle is a four-sided polygon with opposite sides being parallel. In addition, a rectangle has four right angles and the sum of these interior angles add to 360 degrees. Let's talk about the diagonals of a rectangle. The diagonals of a rectangle are of equal length. The diagonals also bisect and create two pairs of equal triangles. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and the opposite sides are parallel. All squares are rectangles but not all rectangles are square.